Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Dyna Crime Prevention Fund. Because most of us don't expect to find ourselves in a car accident, we don't often think about the steps we'd take after the fact. Typically, the average driver understands that a car crash is followed by an exchange of driver's license and insurance information. But questions such as, am I free to leave the scene of the accident? Should I call the police? What if I don't have my insurance information on me? Are harder to answer. Let's join Fire Captain Ryan Quinn, who is with Officer Kenna Dick, to shed some light on the matter in a new segment called, What to Do If. Thanks, Brian. We're here today with Officer Kenna Dick. How are you doing today? Good. And we're going to be talking about what to do if you're involved in a traffic accident. So, a lot of uh, slippery roads and a lot of car crashes, some minor, some major. But on a minor car crash, what are people, what should people expect to do and how should they handle this? It's not even necessary to, every time you're involved in even a minor crash, to contact the police. A police report is only necessary really if there's more than $1,000 worth of damage to either or one single vehicle or property. And if people aren't quite sure what is $1,000 worth of damage, they can call 911. Absolutely, because it would be hard to determine what exactly is $1,000 worth of damage. Go ahead, call the police. We can respond to the scene and help you exchange that uh, information, especially if the other driver is uncooperative or if there's any question about what information to exchange. Uh, we can assist with that. And say it's a small fender bender. Okay, so if you are invo involved in an accident, um, first of all, make sure everybody's okay, because that's and the number one concern. if everybody's not okay, obviously call 911 right away. Absolutely, because you want to get the police and paramedics start, started right away. So um, if, if everybody's okay, and there's just a little bit of damage to the vehicles, I would recommend that you pull off safely, because it's uh, to make sure that you're not unnecessarily blocking traffic because we wouldn't want you to get hit again if you are blocking traffic. Cars stopped in traffic lanes can create additional accidents, compounding the problem. Absolutely. So if it's convenient to pull off the road, mm -hmm. absolutely do that. And if it's, say, on the Crosstown or Highway 100, major interstate, same thing goes, same rules? Well, in that case, if the cars are drivable, maybe pull off on the next exit to remove yourself from the freeway. freeway. Uh, otherwise, remove yourself as far to the shoulder as possible. Great advice. Uh, as far as exchanging information, mm -hmm. uh, names, insurance companies, is there anything additional that they should be exchanging with each other? I would say the two most important things are the names and telephone numbers. Therefore, if you forget any information, you can always contact the, the other driver. But yes, names, address, telephone numbers, and vehicle information, as well as insurance information. Great advice. Thank you very much for your time here today. I hope this helps out everybody what to do if they get in a small traffic crash. Thank you.